Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alicia. I post new tutorials every Thursday, primarily on tumblers, but lately I've been doing a lot of other projects. Uh, and I know that some of you are enjoying it and I'm so glad to hear that and see your comments. This is one of those other kind of things. So here we go, here's my story. Stick around. <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit longer, but the video is not gonna be that long. I promise you the tutorial. It's so super simple and easy. You're gonna be surprised. So, all right. So I bought these for this four pack of Valsim uh, cap covers for my car. And I thought they were really cool. You know, they're, my car is black and red. And guess what happened? I lot, one of them like flew off. I have no idea why or how or when, but I looked and it was gone and I was like, oh crap, right? So then I had to go and buy a whole nother four pack of these to replace just one. So then I started thinking, I'm like, oh, you know what I have? I have a straw tapper skull mold. Will a valve stem fit in there? So I already had a couple of these done up. You see the big giant gaping hole in there, right? And I was like, all right, let me try. So I grabbed a little valve stem cover and nope, not quite. Plus you got this stupid hole at the top that I'm like, all right, so then I get on the Amazon and I start searching and I find the perfect size skull mold in a pack of four. How exciting. So then I was like, all right, I'm going to do this. So I ordered valve stem caps, a whole bag of these, and I got the skull molds. And guess what? I did it. So if you're interested to see what I came up with and how this turned out, stick around and I'm going to go ahead and get started. <music> All right, so the hardest part was deciding which color I wanted to use first. I have this mica powder that I purchased from Etsy. It's Lorena brand, and this is a blue to green to purple color shift. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's pretty pricey, but a little does go a long way. So I'm gonna take a very soft, fine bristle brush, and I'm gonna just dab it into this mica powder and coat the inside of every single one. Then I mix up 40 mLs of epoxy. Now 40 mLs is a little too much. 30 is not enough. So if you can try to get like right in between, that's the perfect amount with maybe a hair left over. You don't want to run short when you're doing this. All right, so I mixed up my epoxy and I took a scoop of just black mica powder. It is just pure black. And this is, you're going to get your best color saturation from doing black, um, uh, What's it? <laughs> Sorry, uh, black epoxy in these molds behind this blue color shift mica powder. I've tried it with different colors, and black is what works the best. So you can do whatever you want, but to save yourself uh, on this mica powder and dumping it in, use black. All right. So now I like to do this in a Dixie cup that is. Uh, it's a paper Dixie cup because you can squeeze it. You want to pour it in nice and slow because the skull mold does have these kind of like little dips or indents in there for the shapes. So you want to pour it nice and slow with a nice thin stream so as to avoid bubbles. Now, if you weren't using a mica powder in there, you could spray the inside of the mold with 91% alcohol to pop any bubbles. But because I have the mica powder in there, I wanna make sure I do a nice slow pour. Now, you can use whatever epoxy you want. You can use a fast set epoxy or you can use your regular set epoxy. It's completely up to you. When I have time, I do the fast set epoxy so that I can pump out a couple of these in a day. But if I'm gonna let it sit overnight, I'll just use my regular set epoxy all right so you fill it till it gets not quite to the top it's going to be just below the top you don't want to fill it all the way to the top because you're going to place the valve stem caps right directly into the mold now I, you see my torch here i am doing it like so super quick just to pop some bubbles you don't want to leave it on there or you will melt your mold all right so i take a pair of tweezers i place it in there and then i put a piece of silicone on the top silicone mat that i cut up into pieces i found that the caps will float and move if you do not pretty much anchor them down and so silicone uh the silicone mats will not stick to the epoxy and it gives it a nice flat surface it pushes it down without moving it around. 
and then you let it set for however long you're gonna let it set. So in this case, I let it set for two hours and now here I am going to demold. So you see they peel right off and then what you're gonna do is just, there's gonna be some overflow around it and that's fine, just peel that right off, not a big deal. And then you just demold, you just pop these puppies out. And they're a little bit weird to pop out because they are like circular and they're kind of in there. But after, you know, a minute of wrestling it, I got them all out and I am in love. I love this mica powder. And I use a bunch of different mica powders. I have mica powders from Glitter Makes It. I have this Lorena brand. I also have mica powders that came in a kit. I will list and link everything down below, including the molds for these, uh, the skull molds where I ordered them from. And as I always do, and I don't have any discount codes on the molds, but I do have discount codes on mica powders from Glitter Makes It. So make sure you check that link and use my discount code. All right, so I'm getting all four of these out and I, I tested them on my car and they came out, they, they screwed on with no issues. You wanna make sure you don't overfill your molds so that they fill inside the cap too. So just be, be mindful of that. Just go below the surface. So check them out, so cool, I'm so excited. All right, so I did it, success. I love how these came out. Tell me guys, what do you think? So I did a couple of different colors. So on the video you saw I did these, this, purple to green to blue color shift. Uh, I absolutely love this. I ordered more chrome pigment mica powders. So I'm hoping to get, whoops, I'm hoping to get like a silver chrome look. So I will be um, playing around. Those are gonna be coming in today. This is a red to orange to gold shift. Now I used all mica powders. I didn't use any glitters because if you see in this, the skull kind of gets lost in the glitter. So I think the mica powders are gonna be best to bring the highlights out in these skulls. And so I used uh, Glitter Makes It's Pearl mica powder in this one to get the white. And this is like a white and gold. So I think I have a pure white that I wanna try. And then this is like a gunmetal gray. And I am so happy with these. I am just like over the moon. So here's the difference between mine and, or the one that I bought and the one that I created. So there are no highlights on this, but I think because of the, I'm happy with like not getting in there and painting everything because the mica powder and the color shift pulls all the detail out. That's just my opinion, but guys, you do what you want. You do you. So if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment. I love to hear your feedback. All those things help my little channel to grow. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys. Bye.